It's the first week of December, not a snowflake on the ground. My life is missing something, as troubles they abound. On Tuesday morning I wake to find a problem I can't handle. Nowhere in my closet space is a thing for holding candles. Another day, one place to stay. There's only reruns of Paul art. If only I had more than just a menorah in my heart. In college, my mom asked me if I needed one for my dorm. Back then I laughed and said, um, why? Those flames won't keep me warm. My friend told me, just bake one, some eggs and milk and flour. Plus then when you're all finished, you'll have something to devour. But I'm without oil, it makes me boil. Although I know I need to make a start if I want more than just a menorah in my heart. Getting the text that my items are here, I jump downstairs and get into gear. I turn on the oven and start making a mold, and soon I'll have a menorah to hold. I scroll through Pandora to get in the and turn it to one of my favorite tunes. The classic, of course, by Dear Rogers and Hart. It's perfect when baking menorah outside my heart. One hour at 425, the recipe explains. Yet when I take it out, only charred dough remains. A poison dart, how could I start? To fix this shattered work of art. Next year I'll try a lemon tart instead. Despondent, I sink to the couch and grab the remote control. Paul Hollywood reminds me great work comes from your soul. So in a year when we all feel like crumbles on a tray, this Hanukkah reminds us to celebrate our own way. I sit and lay, put my worries away, giving the holidays a good start. Cause there's nothing like having 